my beautiful people, it's Tiana and I'm back today with yet another video. And I'm super excited for this video, you guys, because we're gonna be taking a look at some very creepy videos. I'm warning you right now, some of these may give you nightmares. If you guys are ready for this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Asleepad8673, this redditor wrote, Caution, cave children at play. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Boat Juice Cowboy asked, What are we looking for? To which the Redditor responded, saying, The random plastic children's boat in the cave water. Nothing crazy, but very off putting when we realized what we were seeing. And shut the front door to, followed up asking, And what were you seeing exactly? Totally interested. To which the Redditor responded, saying, There was a group of three people that were following us. They started throwing rocks or banging on the wall couldn't tell which, didn't exactly want to find out. They seemed to be very intoxicated, so probably just trying to scare us, but you never know. Seems like it's time to leave that cave. I only see this situation going from bad to worse. I would be so pissed off if I was in a creepy cave with a bunch of random people and they started messing with me. Why are you throwing rocks? Are you five years old? That would definitely scare the crap out of me. I'm in this really creepy cave. All I'm gonna think about is the fact that it could be like a ghost or some sort of animal. I don't think anyone is instantly gonna assume that it's strangers just messing with them because why would anyone do that? I guess this just shows you that sometimes it's not even ghosts that you have to be scared of. It's just other crazy people who just might want to mess with you for no reason. Definitely really weird. We've all seen the creepy videos of the Serbian dancing lady. I've even shared the trend in one of my other videos. Here's another. There is something so unsettling about the Serbian dancing lady and I can't really put my finger on it. When I tell you I would be so terrified if I ever came across the Serbian dancing lady, that is just one thing I do not want to mess with. She really scares me, okay? Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. The original source of the video is TikToker Nika Els. I've analyzed a similar clip of hers in a previous video, but this one takes the cake. While the dancing is all fun and games, the big reveal is nothing short of horror. What's wrong with her face? And why is she pointing at us? This is a look that will haunt my nightmares. What did I say? We're literally gonna have nightmares after watching this. The way she's dancing is definitely insanely creepy, but the way she turns around and points right at the camera gets me every single time. This just seems to be a thing that the Serbian dancing lady does, and it's always so scary. In April of 2023, a dairy farmer outside of Austin, Texas, captured a mysterious entity on camera. His daughter uploaded the image, asking the internet at large what they think it could be. YouTube channel Project Mystery shares the footage with his audience. After the farmer heard some noise outside, he went to check it out. Near the cow pens, he saw this creature. What put him off was the chilling way the creature was walking. Further security footage captured the creature up close. Is anyone else really struggling to see the creature in the video? I don't know if there's something wrong with my eyes, but I genuinely cannot even see what they're talking about. They're insinuating that it's some sort of like alien type of creature. But again, babe, I am definitely not seeing anything. So I don't know. Comment down below if you see anything. The figure has long limbs, enormous black eyes, and appears emaciated. This looks like a clear extraterrestrial capture to me. But what is the extraterrestrial after? 
I think if it was planning an abduction, we wouldn't be watching this video. Maybe it's just hungry. So I'm guessing it's the picture that we're supposed to be looking at. And I mean, there's very clearly a ginormous alien in that picture. Once again, in the video, I saw absolutely nothing. So I don't really even know how they got that picture. The creature seems to have every single characteristic of your average alien. Like he has the long head, the long limbs. He's extremely tall and he also appears to be gray. To me, it is is definitely giving alien. Let me know what you think. Is it possible that the aliens have already invaded? There are crybaby bridges scattered across the US, all with various legends surrounding them. YouTuber Hauntings with Hodge investigates this one in Delaware. The team pauses as they cross the bridge, and in the distance, you can hear a faint hooting, or is it sobbing? Can we see that? Oh, great. Later, they find odd handprints on the truck of their vehicle. That's, That's me. That's Gabe. That's Gabe. That's Gabe. This is the random one we're not sure about. That's a baby They're handprint. They're so close dude. together. What about this one? That's that baby one looks hand. like it got smeared along. Yeah, that's a baby handprint. Yo, I don't like that, yo. Anyone here? When they stop recording, they hear something. We stopped recording maybe five minutes after that. Not even. And then all we hear like tires screeching very faintly, and then out of nowhere, this scream. As a woman scream too. That just. It was a. Although they didn't capture this mysterious scream on camera, one viewer captures something in the darkness a soft sob or moan that can be heard right before Kyla speaks. Listen closely. It is definitely really concerning considering they're literally in the middle of nowhere. It is the middle of the night. I mean, that's a very scary situation to be in. However, I will say I would be way more concerned about the fact that they heard tires screeching and then a woman scream. They said this happened while they weren't recording, so there's no footage of it, but I feel like that's something that would definitely make me want to call the authorities. The Mount Morris Mystery House has seen a number of investigative teams digging for paranormal activity. The U YouTube team Spirit Walk Paranormal is one of them. Upon first entering the home, the team captures an ultra creepy EVP. The voice says, most are young. This leads us to wonder, who? This is one of the clearest and scariest ones I've seen so far. Most are young. Are you kidding me? That is so scary. I'm assuming the spirit is referring to the spirits in the house, like most of the spirits are young spirits, which is honestly just really unsettling. But it looks like these guys are getting some really good activity right off the bat. As they continue to search the place, they find this doll. Nervous? Uh, yeah, that doll hasn't been touched. Is it possessed? The disembodied voices seem to suggest so. Right here. Here it is again, slowed down. They also get a spike on their EMF meter as they come nearer the doll. It, it's a steady milligas spike. Oh. Whoa. That's a six. 5.5, 5.7, 6. Okay, so the meter is going off like crazy around the doll, basically confirming that the doll is very haunted. Considering where they found it, I'm really not surprised. And it gets crazier from there. 8.4. While the EMF continues to spike, two chilling disembodied voices are heard, one after the other. Strange high EMF spikes in the room, a spirit says. Then, as I move closer to the closet where the doll has been, another spirit warns us by saying, Based on the EMF readings and the voices heard, I do think this doll is possessed, and I think their handling of it has disturbed the demon within. I think they might have disturbed the spirits by moving the doll, especially because one of the voices said I paid for her, as in like, she is mine, don't touch her. And then when they approached her, the voice said danger. I mean, talk about a bad sign. Living with poltergeists makes even daily chores interesting. YouTuber Courtney remarks, she shares this footage of a poltergeist disturbing her laundry.
The fact that after she saw that door swinging by itself, she decided to continue on upstairs is absolutely insane to me because I personally would instantly reverse back downstairs and probably never go back upstairs ever again. But no, this girl literally just continued on upstairs after seeing that. Honestly, really freaking terrifying, especially seeing something like that with your own two eyes. Yeah, I think I would lose my freaking mind. After the door makes an unusual move, you can see Courtney pause for a moment before throwing her clothes on the ground in the hallway. Courtney then turns and retreats down the stairs, checking her phone. My guess is that she's reviewing the security footage to ensure that she's not gone mad. The door does not swing shut completely, it just slams slightly, seems to hit something and is knocked back. So what caused it? The angle is unfortunate because we don't see straight on, but judging by Courtney's reaction, it seems unexplainable. I'm guessing she's used to living with poltergeists. It definitely sucks because we can't see a better angle of everything that happened. We basically only just see the top of the door and her reaction. And judging by her reaction, this was definitely pretty crazy. Crazy enough for her to stop and do a double take and then have to go back and check her security footage. There's definitely some happening in her home I'm wondering if it's paranormal or not the Inquisition left a dark history behind youtuber Alberto Del Arco visits this abandoned house of the Inquisition and what he finds here is haunting while exploring the derelict home they spot something in an empty building what is there? I don't see what they're seeing. It looks like a slight shifting of shadows, but it is not a clear figure. Still, it's enough to scare them all. After feeling your hair stand on end, would you take this investigation further? I thought not, and neither would I. They seem to have seen some sort of shadows shifting behind the railing. It was really difficult for me to make out what it was. It's very, very blurry. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys can see what they're talking about. Either way though, I would not be taking my chances, especially that early on in the tour. If that is how early you're getting paranormal activity, things are probably bound to get a lot crazier later on. The Devil's Cabin is home to a dark entity. YouTube team Twin Paranormal revisits the place after envisioning something evil on the first go around and they know exactly where the evil is spirit here with us right now <laughs> back, back door, door. Oh, oh my God. did you hear that knocking right before that yeah. literally <gasps> door. I am a child. How did that just happen? Oh my god, it literally said I am a child. There are very clearly spirits in there with them. The child spirit is there and it wants in. Can you hear us at all? No! No! no. He is watching you through the window. Oh, oh my god! From the back door to the window, the spirit is watching, or maybe it's already found its way inside. What was that? Somebody's coming. We hear you. And the activity continues. Yeah, that was something. Do you remember us by any chance? Can you kind of give us a sign, please? They just made a jingle once. What? That was a whistle. The entity is inside the house, and I can tell it has only evil on its mind. It's difficult for me to be able to tell if this entity is evil or good, because it is telling them that it is a child. But then again, it could also be lying, so you never really know. They did seem to get a lot of paranormal activity, though. There was knocking, banging, they heard footsteps, like a lot was going on. So there is definitely something in there. It's either the spirit of a child or something much more evil, lying, and pretending 
pretending to be a child. And I really hope it's not the second thing. This five bedroom bungalow may appear quiet and remote, but paranormal entities are active here. YouTube team Ouija Brothers investigates the haunted abode, and before they even enter, they hear strange sounds. We've obviously got Mart back on the channel. It's great to have him with us yet again. And yeah, the reason. What the f was that? What was that? That was a banshee or something. Upon entering, they hear even more unsettling noises. Showed yourself to them, any of your power or whatever you can do. Is it possible that you could do that very same thing tonight for us three? What? Tell me you heard that. A little later, they hear it again. Do it again, louder. What can you hear? Me? Let me know if you guys are hearing anything, but I am definitely not. I'm also trying really hard to focus and hear it, but I really can't. Although I do hear some distinct unexplained banging, I don't hear the chains rattling, but maybe the mics didn't pick it up. Has someone been chained here? I think yes. This place has definitely locked in its dark secrets. I guess it is possible that their microphones weren't picking up what they were hearing, but then again, I guess anyone can just say they heard anything. Although this place definitely gave a creepy vibe. I'm not too sure if it is haunted, but honestly, you never really know what is hiding around the corner. Just because it doesn't look haunted doesn't mean it's not. Located in the UK, Slape Airfield is an aviation club, but it's not all that it seems. The YouTube team, Spire Paranormal Group, shares this strange light anomaly that was captured on a security camera in the museum. Although this flash is brief, the team were unable to find any logical explanation for it. They tried to debunk it but couldn't. To me, this looks like someone was taking a photo with flash on and just pointed the flash towards the ceiling. It's a very abrupt and very small flash, kind of like it came from a phone. I feel like with things like this, there's just so many other things that it could be before it being a spirit. Without a clear idea of what's in the surrounding area, it's hard to tell if it can be explained. But I do know one thing for sure, staring directly into this light is not recommended before bedtime. I'm not too sure if staring into any light before bedtime is recommended. Either way though, I honestly struggle to like figure out what this could be. Again, to me it just looks like an iPhone flash, I could be wrong. Definitely do let me know what you think. But alright you guys, we have finally made it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which clip freaked you guys out the most. I have to admit for me, it was definitely the Serbian dancing lady. I don't know what it is, but something about that lady truly terrifies me. Every single clip I've ever seen of her is just so scary. But I love you guys so much, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.